Kenaf Hibiscus cannabinus, is a plant in the Malvaceae family also called Deccan hemp and Java jute. Hibiscus cannabinus is in the genus Hibiscus and is probably native to southern Asia, though its exact natural origin is unknown. The name also applies to the fiber obtained from this plant. Kenaf is one of the allied fibers of jute and shows similar characteristics. Common names, Europe, French, Chanva de Bombay, Chanva du Deccan, Chanva de Guinea, Chanva de Gambo, Chanva de Roselle, Jute de Java, Jute de Siam, K acute NAF, Kemiafoy de Chanva, Roselle, German, Ambari, Deccan Hanf, Gamba Hanf, Hanfe Bish, Java Ute, Kenaf, Roselle, Lehanf, Roselle, Siamute, Portuguese, Canimo, Rosella, Duta de Java, Duta du Sio, Quenaf, Spanish, Canimo de la India, Canimo de Gambo, Canimo Rosella, Parvona Encendida, Uta Java, Uta Siam, Americas, Brazilian, Portuguese, Papula de São Francisco, Canimo Brasileiro, Quenaf, Africa, Afrikaans, Stokers, Egypt, Namp, Northern Africa, Africa, Til, Teal, or Teal, West Africa, Da, Gambo, and Rama. Asia Himachal fiber known as sun used to make rope used for beds and to tie cattle and all other possible uses. Lao, India, Shogri, India, Kudam, India, Mesta, India, Ambadi, India, Palisha, Kirai, Palungu, India, Gongura, Targambadi, Puntik, Ura, Iran, Hanf, Taiwan, Ambari. Other names include Bimli, Ambari, Ambari Hemp, Deccan Hemp, and Bimli Partum Jute. According to Miyaka and Sizuta, there are more than 129 names for Kenaf worldwide. Characteristics It is an annual or biennial herbaceous plant growing to 1.5 to 3.5 meters tall with a woody base. The stems are 1 to 2 centimeters diameter, often but not always branched. The leaves are 10 to 15 centimeters long, variable in shape, with leaves near the base of the stems being deeply lobed with 3 to 7 lobes, while leaves near the top of the stem are shallowly lobed or unlobed lanceolate. The flowers are 8 to 15 centimeters diameter, white, yellow, or purple. When white or yellow, the center is still still dark purple. The fruit is a capsule 2 cm diameter, containing several seeds. Fiber The fibers in Ken are for found in the bast and core. The bast constitutes 40% of the plant. Crude fiber separated from the bast is multicellular, consisting of several individual cells stuck together. The individual fiber cells are about 2 to 6 mm long and slender. The cell wall is thick. The core is about 60% of the plant and has thick but short and thin walled fiber cells. Paper pulp is produced from the whole stem and therefore contains two types of fibers, from the bast and from the core. The pulp quality is similar to hardwood. Uses Kenaf is cultivated for its fiber in India, Bangladesh, United States of America, Indonesia, Malaysia, South Africa, Vietnam, Thailand, parts of Africa, and to a small extent in Southeast Europe. The stems produce two types of fiber, a coarser fiber in the outer layer, and a finer fiber in the core. It matures in 100 to 200 days. Kenaf was grown in Egypt over 3,000 years ago. The kenaf leaves were consumed in human and animal diets. The bast fiber was used for bags, cordage, and the sails for Egyptian boats. This crop was not introduced into southern Europe until the early 1900s. Today, principal farming areas are China, India, and it is also grown in many other countries such as the US, Mexico and Senegal.
The main uses of canar fiber have been rope, wine, coarse cloth, and paper. In California, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, 3,200 acres of canar were grown in 1992, most of which was used for animal bedding and feed. Uses of canar fiber include engineered wood, insulation, clothing grade cloth, soil less potting mixes, animal bedding, packing material, and material material that absorbs oil and liquids. It is also useful as cut bast fiber for blending with resins for plastic composites as a drilling fluid loss preventative for oil drilling muds. For seeded hydromulch for erosion control, Kenov can be made into various types of environmental mats, such as seeded grass mats for instant lawns and moldable mats for manufactured parts and containers. Panasonic has set up a plant in Malaysia to manufacture Kenar fiber boards and export them to Japan. Additionally, as part of its overall effort to make vehicles more sustainable, Ford and BMW are making the material for the automobile bodies in part from Kenar. The first implementation of Kenar within a Ford vehicle was in the 2013 Ford Escape. The BMW i3 uses Kenarf in the black surrounds. The use of Kenarf is anticipated to offset 300,000 pounds of oil-based resin per year in North America and should reduce the weight of the door bolsters by 25%. Kenarf seed oil Kenarf seeds yield an edible vegetable oil. The Kenarf seed oil is also used for cosmetics, industrial lubricants and for biofuel production. Kenarf oil is high in omega polyunsaturated fatty acids which are expected to play a role in cardiovascular health. Kenarf seed oil contains a high percentage of linoleic acid a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Linoleic acid is the dominant PUFA, followed by oleic acid. Alpha-linolenic acid is present in 2-4%. The PUFAs are essential fatty acids for normal growth and health. Furthermore, they are important for reducing cholesterol and heart diseases. Kenarf seed oil is 20.4% of the total seed weight which is similar to cotton seed. Kenar Fedible Seed Oil contains Palmitic Acid, 19.1%, Oleic Acid, 28.0%, Linoleic Acid, 45%, Stearic Acid, 3.0%, Alpha Linolenic Acid, 3%. Kenarf paper. The most common process to make Kenarf paper is using soda pulping before processing the obtained pulp in a paper machine. The use of Kenarf in paper production offers various environmental advantages over producing paper from trees. In 1960, the USDA surveyed more than 500 plants and selected Kenarf as the most promising source of tree free newsprint. In 1970, Kenarf newsprint produced in the International Paper Company's Mill in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, was successfully used by six U.S. newspapers. Printing and writing paper made from the fibrous Kenarf plant has been offered in the United States since 1992. Again in 1987, a Canadian mill produced 13 rolls of Kenarf newsprint which were used by 4U.S. newspapers to print experimental issues. They found that Kenarf newsprint made for stronger, brighter and cleaner pages than standard pine paper with less detriment to the environment, due partly to Kenarf fibers being naturally whiter than tree pulp. Less bleaching is required to create a brighter sheet of paper. Hydrogen peroxide, an environmentally safe bleaching agent that does not create dioxin, has been used with much success in the bleaching of Kenarf. Various reports suggest that the energy requirements for producing pulp from Kenarf are about 20% less than those for wood pulp, mostly due to the lower lignin content of Kenarf. 
Many of the facilities that now process southern pine for paper use can be converted to accommodate kenaf. An area of one acre of kenaf produces five to eight tons of raw plant bust and core fiber in a single growing season. In contrast, one acre of forest produces approximately 1.5 to 3.5 tons of usable fiber per year. It is estimated that growing kenaf on 5,000 acres can produce enough pulp to supply a paper plant having a capacity of 200 tons per day. Over 20 years, one acre of farmland can produce 10 to 20 times the amount of fiber that one acre of southern pine can produce. As one of the world's important natural fibers, Kenaf is covered by the International Year of Natural Fibers 2009. The first novel to be published using 100% Kenaf paper was The Land of Debris, and the home of Alfredo by Ken Amdahl. David Brower, a former executive director of the Sierra Club, in Chapter 8 of his semi-autobiographical environmental book Let the Mountains Talk, Let the Rivers Run, a call to save the earth, titled Forest Revolution, advocated for Kenaf paper use and explained its many advantages over wood pulp. The first edition of the book was printed on Kenaf paper. Pesticide and fertilizer use in kenaf crops. Kenaf is considered a hardy plant that requires a minimum of fertilizers, pesticides and water in comparison to conventional row crops. 